In this chapter, we will learn about the collision goal in Kangaroo Library. Collision is a particle-based goal that works on the proximity of vertices. It is useful in deforming meshes, draping simulation, terrain analysis, curve relaxation and much more. Collision goal is listed under the goals collision tab. We will be looking into sphere collide and solid point collide. To demonstrate the collision goal, we will create an uneven terrain using mesh geometry and drop a list of points over it to simulate the terrain runoff pattern. You may open the grasshopper file provided in the resource folder to follow along. Let's start by creating a terrain mesh. Construct a mesh plane of size 200 by 200 and 10 division in the U and V direction. Deconstruct the mesh to extract the vertices, check the list length, and create a list of random values of the same size. Scale the list of random values using the multiplication operator. Use these values to move the vertices in Z direction. Construct mesh using displaced vertices and face list from deconstruct mesh. The resulting mesh is a low poly terrain model, which is smoothened using Weaverbird's Catmull Clark subdivision component. and we have a smooth mesh terrain for our simulation. Since the solid point collide goal works with closed mesh, use Weaverbird's thicken component to create a solid offset of this mesh terrain. This is the solid geometry for the simulation. Also, we need a list of points to drop on this terrain. Construct a cube over the terrain, and use populate 3D function to create 200 points within the cube. These points will be the point particles in this collision simulation. The next step is to define the goals. Bring the solid point collide component into the canvas. Connect the points to points input and mesh terrain to solid input. The interior input requires a boolean value, that controls if the points are to be kept outside or inside the solid geometry. True will ensure that the points are kept inside, and false will keep the points outside. Set the boolean toggle to false, and connect to the interior option. Unidirectional input also requires a boolean value. It controls whether the solid geometry is affected by the points during simulation. Set it to true. To use the terrain mesh's context. 
The final input parameter is strength. The default value is adequate for this exercise. Apart from the collision goal, we require a load goal to move the points in negative z direction. Set the force vector to negative 0.01 units. This will set the appropriate speed to simulate the points colliding with mesh terrain. We will also use the floor goal to ensure that points do not fall beyond the XY plane. Merge all three goals, and connect to a bouncy solver. We use Bouncy Solver to see the step-by-step -step progression of this collision simulation. Reset and enable the Bouncy Solver. We see that the falling points bounce off the mesh terrain, and some of them fall outside. Most of the points that stay on the geometry flow down the mesh slope towards the local minimums. However, these points soon overlap, and we are left with one point per minima. This happens because the points do not collide with each other, and end up converging. To detect point-to-point -point collision, we use the Sphere Collide Goal. Sphere Collide Goal requires the list of collision points, and the radius threshold. Sphere Collision uses radius as the distance threshold between two points. It ensures that the points maintain a minimum distance equal to twice the radius unless the other goals force it to violate the threshold. In case that happens, we can increase the strength value to amplify the effectiveness of sphere collide goal. In addition to this goal, let's visualize the spheres using the points output from our solver. Construct mesh sphere with the same radius that was used with sphere collide component. You may use mesh color to preview the spheres, and terrain in rendered viewport is an optional step. Reset, and enable the solver. This time, the points pile up in the local minima of the terrain rather than overlapping. You may increase the number of points, and rerun the simulation. This may slow down the simulation, so be careful while increasing the value. Collision is a unique feature of the Kangaroo library, and can be used in exciting ways for form finding. Try this exercise and vary the parameters to see the impact on the final result. In the next chapter, we will look into mesh-based goals in Kangaroo library.